Okay, we gonna double our population. I'm telling you, we're gonna double our population. Soon, we are putting a new city in operation. Double the population, put in operation. Look at him being MC Fasta or something. I don't know. Uh, right, I think we're done. I think we're gonna start straight away and monitor the population as we go. Uh, there's many, 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 many mistakes that I made. This was horrible. Um, I missed uh, sports halls. I missed uh, libraries, which we have two of at the moment. Uh, this is being secret police being built. Police I missed. It's not really that necessary, but hey ho, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, how many people can we expect? <clears throat> three hundred ish more plus. There we go. Go, go, go! Storm the front. They are. I just allowed Atinovo to become uh, populated. So usually buildings closer to town center are, or, or I don't know how it works, but uh, you can see here uh, where with the population is. We can go and check the workers. Uh, Uneducated, college educated. I don't know. Citizens during free time. How can I even see the workers? Anyway, <clears throat> you can see where the workers usually live. Like 16 people here. Oh, uh, I will. I will straight away uh, get us more people here. Uh, I did, we did have a drop in uh, happiness. Uh, we need to populate this drastically. So I will bring more people from the outside. They don't have to be from the. Oh, why am I pausing this? Uh, they don't have to be from here. I'm gonna go for bigger chunks of population. We have decent amount here. I'm gonna go for I don't know like a thousand. So it's gonna be significant. One, two. That's one hundred. This is two hundred. Do we have any more over here? Doesn't seem so. Uh, I'll leave it alone. Let's move on. Next down two hundred. And this is uh, three hundred. This is 400. This is 500. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. We're gonna get 500-ish people over here in the new town and see how, how they react. So I'm gonna be populating... Well, let's go with these better parts, uh, better buildings. These are <coughs> Yugoslavian buildings over here. They're probably the best ones in the game. Uh, I love them and they're good. They're really, really good and they should be good. Uh, the architecture, design, uh, quality of apartments was extraordinary in these buildings. My parents still live in similar ones. They are still... Uh, <clears throat> rarely you can find in even these days anything as high quality as that. I'm not even kidding. This is not me propagating anything. Uh, it's just like the, the quality of uh, living space in these apartment buildings was... Uh, quite, quite high. Um, right, other issues that we had with um, other issues that we had with uh, the city. I, I tested it, if it's gonna work, should work, we'll see, who knows, you never know these days. Um, there we go. Um, we should have uh, water was one of the things that I didn't supply in this part of the city. I'm pretty sure that we should have, maybe not, uh, and maybe not. So let's go and find two construction offices that are available, three and four, uh, to work on this. So let's go for three overground and four underground. There we go, higher priority. So let's finish these two construction. This is just for water supply here, but it's only university, nothing else uh, <clears throat> in this part of the city. Uh, I think even these guys, no, the, they don't have drinking water either. It's fine, it's fine. The band's gonna make it, it's fine. Um, you can see that I'm missing some uh, trash collection over here. I think I'm gonna try to implement the big trash collection wherever I can. Uh, so something like this. Uh, is this gonna help us at all? 
Kind of, and uh, you know what? I'll go for smaller ones. We're gonna talk trash again. Um, this is something that um, I'm, I'm finding out a lot of a lot of good information about the trash. So um, I'm gonna keep sharing until I make a video at one point. So until then, we will. I'll share as much as I can. Anyway, uh, I need notification when this is done. We need to separate it. So I'm gonna talk about the trash and waste collection a little bit. Um, this is current uh, the best setup that I think we can have we're gonna talk about it of course uh, in the meantime I need to go from city to city and find what the guys are missing uh, you can see here we have the indoor swimming pool um, uh, that is connected with this mod road but um, that, that's perfectly fine Swimming pool doesn't lack anything, it has electricity, it looks like it's working. Uh, they have a library here, I'm building a normal road, but again mud road first, and then we have here another library. Uh, this is the secret police station, and we have a normal police station. Court and prison I did not um, change, they, they can go to court anywhere as far as I understand, but I did lower the crime sentences because we had a problem with the prison, it was getting full, I don't think we had any escapes, but it was like literally 43, 44 out of uh, uh, 45, now this is not really affecting the prisoners because especially the older prisoners they are here for a while and some of them will stay for a while it doesn't affect existing uh, punishments here, for example this guy oh, oh I think it was 9 years I'm, I'm mistaking, like some of them will stay here for a while um, because their sentences were given when they were, when they were much higher well, looks like a lot of them actually had expired sentences already. Like this one here has 9.9 .9 years, that's 10 years. Even though currently I lowered the harshest punishment to 5 years in prison. Just to have uh, circulation of workers a little bit faster. Yeah, so that's it. Um, what we need to have here, we need to have water supply operational. I had issues with water as well. Uh, we need to demolish this because I don't think we have any more pipes around here i had two oh here we go we have a pipe over here wesley pipes um and tito of course tito is going to be central uh, to 18 novo uh 18 novo also reminds me of ernestinovo that's uh ernest ernestinovo um like a, it's a town between vingoci and osiek uh, i used to live in osiek i'm originally from Županiol, south from vingoci but uh, anyway <clears throat> um ernestinovo uh, it was a big um, uh, substation or, or exchange of electricity east west blah 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 big big substation or or electrical installation but anyway uh, 18 novo reminds me of that um couple of things i didn't really snooker myself but i'm not proud of this is really small uh, power uh, substation or switch uh, which is way way too small I shouldn't have built that one so I'm gonna be looking in the future to build a bigger one uh, and also you can see here that I'm gonna have to backtrack on power in order to uh, deliver it in this direction I am not sure if we have no we don't uh, any additional uh, connections here so here I don't think this is gonna be a problem power power lines going in that direction and around town uh, but in this direction because we have this uh, demolition office that's an, uh, another new thing that I implemented in the map um, yeah so so this is a new thing okay so I'm gonna tell you um, one other thing that I found out. Uh, I did a little bit of research, Reddit, Discord, YouTube, um, about the trash. Uh, sorry, about uh, the fertilizer. Now I'm gonna have to cheat mode this. Um, cheat mode will show us something. If you go into cheat mode and press control, you will see the level of fertilizer of your fields. And this is the reason why our fertilizer is not being utilized in the fields, because it's full of fertilizer. Where this fertilizer came from, it's because we are not picking up all the... I'm gonna turn off the cheat mode. I don't use cheat mode at all these days, so uh, there's no need for it to be on, but this one showing us fertilizer levels is quite important. So if you press CHE, just those three letters on your keyboard, your cheat mode is activated. You press on any field and just press left control. You can see, hold it, you need to hold it. You can see the uh, fertilizer level. You can even choose this. I don't know why it's this under cheat mode because it doesn't seem to be belonging there, but hey, ho. Um, right, so you can see here now, I'm gonna turn off the cheat mode again. Um, uh, we had a problem with um, 
uh, crops not being picked up. I uh, said from the beginning, we have uh, this is a 30, uh, 30 slot farm. These are the big farms. Uh, perfect setup for me at the moment. As far as I understand, it is nine tractors. You need to six for the fields, three for the spraying and blah, 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 all this other stuff. By the way, you don't need... They're, they're not separated. They all do the same. They all do the work. Uh, fertilizer spreading, yada, 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 all this stuff. So at the same time, uh, you, you just need nine of them. Just put nine tractors. Like I, I usually use 18 fields, six small, uh, 12 big ones, and I put nine tractors. So only six harvesters. Nine tractors and six harvesters, that's 15. That's half of the uh, of the whole farm. Now for 18 fields, you should have, I believe, don't quote me on this, more than one truck per field because they can't handle the intake of, of crops. Now, also bear in mind that you have anywhere, somewhere to put these crops, uh, because if you don't, that might be a problem as well. Um, I'm just going to put some of the construction. Uh, we have a, a, um, the next, next project uh, that we have is a slaughterhouse that's going to be connected to the... Uh, I should have probably tested this first, but I'm, I don't see why this wouldn't work. But here we go. Um, industrial connection. Off you go, be, be, be built. Um, a slaughterhouse, a farm and a slaughterhouse, so we will have a problem, yeah, when I finish this, we're gonna have a lot of meat, which uh, we're gonna be exporting and using ourselves, um, we're gonna have a problem with supplying uh, crops to the chemical, chemical industry, and the chemical industry slash uh, fabric factory, so we will need a new farm, I decided to go with this farm, uh, just because uh, both of these farms are kind of close to each other. Um, they're close to the population centers that we have at the moment. So, <clears throat> and then they're necessary for uh, operation of the food factory that we have here. And they're going to be necessary for the livestock farm and the slaughterhouse. But this is something we're going to do in the future. Not now. Everything is laid out. I just need to finish it. I will not finish it now. That's going to be probably in the future. We need to uh, have this city operational first. Can we get some information about this city? No. Computer says no. I think this pipe is going to be a rough one. This pipe needs to get the uh, steel. And are you carrying steel? It's just going to pick up the steel. So it's going to take a while for us to get information about the city. Um, anything else I would like to add? Yeah, the only uh, information that we can get from the city now is just click on the, on the people and go and check on the buildings and see what the problem is. You can see here that we have even workers unemployed. This is absolute perfection because from now on, I kind of hope that this is, I'm not going to have to change this, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change these guys to go and pick up the workers from here. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done and this is definitely the closest uh, worker population center that we have. And um, I want them to get workers from here because most of the construction is happening here. Uh, so we might be done with Novolesce um, at the moment. So, but yeah, we'll see. Demolition office, I believe, also needs uh, workers from 80 Nova bus platform. That's perfect. That's, that's exactly what we want. Okay, 13 minutes into this episode, we're going to do a time lapse. I'm going to be finishing some of the projects here. Hopefully, I'm going to be maintaining keeping focus on what people need um, you can see here that uh, complaining about the jobs this is going to be falling like a stone we will have uh, a lot of uh, um, we're going to need a lot of workers but we're going to have a lot of workers uh, universities they are working fine uh, here we go secret police we're going to need uh, some maluch 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 hello uh for Maluch is the uh, feature, no, that's Peglitsa, we call it Peglitsa in the Balkans. Um, uh, the cars, and we have the, what is here, we have the similar one, I think, Polski Fiat, I think it's the same, uh, the same as the other one. Uh, this is for police cars, we have two of them. Uh, we might need more, but we'll see. Uh, sewage tank overfilled, sewage risk, you can see here how bad planning uh, was for this so I'm gonna have to uh, invest a little bit more into this and th this is this is the whole essence of um, uh, this is the whole essence of uh, of uh, what I'm uh, what, what I'm talking about all the mistakes that I made 
So what I'm gonna have to do here is probably something like this. I like switches, make switches. Here we go. Oh. Proper slope. Uh. Okay, seriously? Uh, that's annoying. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we have space here. We absolutely do. I think uh, church as well. I made a mistake. I did build a little chapel. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be working properly. So I'm going to have to address that as well. I'm going to give them something uh, for those religious folks. Just to monitor them better. Eh, all the jokes aside. I love our people. Our people are the best. Uh, we can go for this way. And then this way. So they are just connected to this. So we have the sewage in this area. We're going to expand in this area. Even residential buildings and all. We have a pub that is fun. Anyway, time lost time. See you back in five.
Right, okay, let's talk about it and let's finish this episode, put it out of its misery, let's see how it goes. Right, okay, so we have a new town, uh, I don't know if you uh, were paying attention, but the happiness was skyrocketing, I think it was 62% uh, just a few minutes ago, and it's going to like average productivity now, it was 72%, now it's 80%. Percent, um, so it's it's pretty high. It's it's going better and better. Uh, I think even they have this um, religion thing happening here. Whatever. I might build a church, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, the there's nothing to build. I have the slaughterhouse and the livestock farm. Yeah, problem. Um, the setup that I decided to go for here. Um, doesn't accommodate them. I, um, I will blame three division here. I will blame their, um, their inflexibility. Uh, I'm going to show you the, this now. So we have a slaughterhouse that doesn't have industrial connections. It, it does have one, two industrial connections, but that's it. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, you know, like uh, in, in theory, like slaughterhouse when you own a business or if a government owns a business like in the Soviet times, Soviet Republic, you would be expanding it. Exp but this is so in inflexible, like here you can expand it only in two directions or at least uh, have two attachments. In reality, that's not so, like even, even the other uh, uh, mothers understand this, you know, more so than three division, like you can see here, for for example, this mod has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, external connections. We have this one with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine external connections, and we have the uh, this one over here with one, two, three, four, five, six connections, and then we have the biggest slaughterhouse in the freaking game uh, that can process uh, enormous amounts of sixty tons of hundred and fifty tons of cows per day. And the storage is 8.3 tons of meat, and uh, it has only two connections. And unfortunately for me, now this connection is not going to work. I'll deal with this. It's not a problem. I'll build a storage on the other side and have a freaking truck going and, you know, storing the meat. But that's not how it's supposed to work, you know. It just, like, you know, they'll do whatever. What they're going to do doesn't matter what I say or think or whatever. So what I'm going to probably do is just have a truck going from one side to the other delivering uh, where uh, I can do it like um, I can do a proper job at least with this. So at least try, uh, for example, how was the biggest storage we have? Small one is the vanilla one is uh, 75 tons. We have this one 350, 350 is this one as well. Ah, this is the stolen one. Yeah, this is not stolen, but uh, they took it from the this is Rob's. And refrigerator, refrigerator, would be in Cyrillic, that means refrigerator, obviously. It has a uh, railroad connection, don't care. I'll, I'll use this quote-unquote vanilla one that Redivision invented. Yeah, it's, it's just from other motors, what they usually do. Uh, it's taken from other motors. I'm pretty sure that they are fairly compensated. Well, at least I hope so. Uh, but unfortunately doesn't like me putting it over here. Can I do it like this, maybe? Nah, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Um, I can... Oh, and now it allows me to do so. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, let's rotate it in this direction. T again. Uh, something like this. Um, this is just the, uh, the storage. I don't care if it's even uh, mother roads. I will have the road cargo station attached to it. Uh, just because um, I don't know how this is gonna work. It's gonna be meat distribution and uh, uh, There's no packaging meat in containers. This needs to be uh, Dealt with with trucks, I believe so it's gonna be a bigger project So I'm gonna start on this straight away even though well, there's no even though I'm gonna start on this straight away even before we finish this one Let me just double check. I didn't pay attention if we have electricity connection here. We do so that's fine electricity for for cooling the meat and that's it so we're gonna go for finishing this this setup that we have this one needs footpaths that's fine footpaths are the only office that is actually doing something now let's check the news 
one news happiness is too low all of this is changing currently is 55 percent there's 71 percent happiness there were 60 what eight and now we're 80 81 percent productivity so everything is going in a positive direction uh, the only problem they have is still spirituality we have this little uh, chapel but i don't care i'll leave it as it is um I'll, I'll, I might build a bigger church, you know, for, for tourist purposes, whatever. I want to lie to myself uh, about it, but, uh, you know, something like that. Uh, I'm thinking how I can build a footpath around here and where I can put a church somewhere to be accessible for most of the people. Uh, let's see here. Uh, can I build it here? 420. If I build it here, I can see that some of the people won't have access to it. But that just tells you how badly connected uh, this area is uh, all together. I can put it here, for example. I think this is going to be accessible to all the presently built buildings, by the way. It doesn't, like, you. where we're we going to expand in the future. Obviously, it's going to be around this tram station here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Please don't go there, nobody. Thank you around this tram station uh probably because this is uh, where we're gonna go for our oil industries uh, in the future so but the, the, there's still work to be done here we need electricity infrastructure for the trams which i didn't plan for that was again my mistake but yeah well, we're working I'm, I'm improving i'm trying to do better uh it's not a big deal uh these things just happen i will go and start assigning construction well, what's with this road here is it okay and the, the things are being delivered that's fine uh, like i said the the only thing that we have enormous amounts of tasks is for the footpath office but that's fine uh one of the things i don't know what your opinion on this guy oh is this finally connected yes it is we can actually uh start on a new foot oh no we can't there's no footpath here yoink if you want sports go around um the resources this is the only the only uh, area where we get all the materials that we have is here uh the prefab panel steel everything comes from here and i did not build a new uh area where we can get materials from i'm not sure if i should i really don't know uh because we built everything from here everything here by sourcing materials from there so do i need it i don't know doesn't seem so but um i don't know uh i'll upgrade some of the asphalt roads i'm pretty sure that they really 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 uh yeah sure i i was thinking of should i build a two or one by one let's go one by one um anything else uh, chemical distribution i'm not sure if this is working properly or not but um anyway um I think, yeah, I think this is, I, I think it's gonna, I, I think it's working fine. Uh, we're exporting chemicals, financially we're doing fine. Uh, the only problem is we're kind of oscillating with the exports. I, I did, we have a lot of, a lot of trucks exporting, by the way. Um, I'm gonna just show you how many. I think it's like eight, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> Uh, 10 trucks are exporting they're all going to a single border crossing that there is being used by nothing except the exports uh, we can double check what they're what did they what are they carrying this guy whoa four containers there we go i knew there was a one kmz i thought it was only romanian one that can uh, he did so this one is exporting thirty thousand rubles worth of stuff do we have any more coming this way yeah here we go another one with three containers only food three thousand rubles Another big one, four containers, all food, 4,400 rubles. That's fine, 10 times they go there and back and they paid the price of the truck. Um, a few more times they paid for the fuel and uh, so it's worth it. But actually, they're not even the ones producing, they're just exporting. But anyway, it's a nice little supply chain that we have running around here. Uh, that's it. I will focus on the meat industry. I will check it out, test it out, uh, potentially construction out, construction it out. So I'm gonna have a probably truck going from the uh, slaughterhouse all the way to the meat storage. Uh, it's gonna be filling the meat storage here, and then I'm gonna be sourcing meat instead of from the border. Uh, we're gonna be sourcing meat. I think I'm gonna build a distribution office as well for the meat. Uh, we can do that now, yeah. And I can even name it. Uh, I built another distribution office that you guys are gonna be interested in. A distribution office for the meat, big one, big one. F2, F2. Wow, that's a lot of... 
That's a lot of um, uneven terrain. Uh, where do I even squeeze it in? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Can I squeeze it in here? No, too many overhead cables. I was thinking of meat distribution to be over here. Uh, what about smaller one? Four trucks? No, eight trucks maybe. Uh, again, terrain here is just a weird though. Let's see here that it's not allowing me to level it. No, no it's too uneven. I'll play with this. I'll play around with this and I'll, I'll do it off screen. Uh, distribution office somewhere or like we can push farms even further into the hillside uh, That's that would be about it, but um, yeah uh, meat production here we go That at least is the plan plus then I'm gonna have to get a new farm for the Chemical industry. We'll see how we're gonna do with this uh, Maybe push the or rec or build a new uh, clothing industry somewhere. I don't know a lot of trucks are damaged here i think this would could be the same one i need to find out how i can replace oh here we go replace the vehicle what i have to choose another vehicle what to replace it with okay do we have flood by the truck no probably i'm gonna have to buy some vehicles that's fine i'll, I'll do it i'll do it anyway we'll do it off screen uh so anyway I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, this is what's happening with our new town. 1,700 people, 1,500 workers, just for your notice. And then we have 61 deaths, 69 births. It was way more deaths when we started the town, so it's doing well. The only need that they have would be... Oh, they finished a freaking kindergarten. That's great. Uh, the only thing that we need here is like we have 300 unemployed people that needs to be addressed uh, We can put them in the meat industries. So that's not gonna be a problem uh, They're already supplying workers to the construction industry and uh, do we have any free apartments? Four one That's it <laughs> New apartment buildings are also gonna be on the on the on the schedule to be built. That's it Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, turn notification bell, ring it, comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support the channel, turn, turn, description of the video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.